I extend a warm welcome to each one of you to the oldest living city of the mother of democracy. It is a fitting location for the G20 Development Minister's meeting. Kashi has been a center of knowledge, discussion, debate, culture, and spirituality for centuries. It has the essence of India's diverse heritage and serves as a convergence point for people from all parts of the country. I am delighted that the G20 Development Agenda has reached Kashi as well. Excellencies, development is a core issue for the Global South. The countries of Global South were severely impacted by the disruption created by the global COVID pandemic. And the food, fuel, and fertilizer crisis because of geopolitical tensions have delivered another blow. In such circumstances, the decisions you make carry great significance to your humanity as a whole. I strongly believe that it is our collective responsibility not to let the sustainable development goals fall behind. We must ensure that no one is left behind. It is imperative for this group to send a strong message to the world that we have an action plan to achieve this. Excellency, our efforts must be comprehensive, including fair and sustainable. We should increase investment in fulfilling the SDGs and find solutions to address the debt risk faced by many countries. Multilateral financial institutions should be reformed to expand the eligibility criteria ensuring that finance is accessible to those in need. In India, we have made efforts to improve people's lives in more than 100 aspirational districts, which were pockets of underdeveloped. Our experience shows that they have now emerged as the catalyst of growth in the country. I urge the G20 development ministers to study this model of development. It may be relevant as you work towards accelerating Agenda 2030. Excellency, one of the important issues before you is the growing data divide. High quality data is critical for meaningful policy making, efficient resource allocation, and effective public service delivery. Democratization of technology is an important tool to help bridge the data divide. In India, digitalization has brought about a revolutionary change. Technology is being used as a tool to empower people, make data accessible and ensure inclusivity. India is willing to share its experience with partner countries. I hope that your discussions will result in tangible action to promote data for discourse, data for development, and data for delivery in developing countries. Excellency, in India, we hold great respect for rivers, trees, mountains, and all elements of nature. Traditional Indian thought promotes a pro-planet lifestyle. Last year, along with the UN Secretary General, I launched Mission Life. Lifestyle 
for environment. I am glad that this group is working to develop a set of high-level principles on life. This would be a significant contribution to climate action. Excellency, gender equality and women's empowerment are crucial to achieve the SDGs. In India, we are not limited to women's empowerment. Ours is a women-led development. Women are setting the agenda for development and are also the agents of growth and change. I urge you to adopt a game-changing action plan for women-led development. Excellency, the spirit of Kashi is energized by India's timeless traditions. I hope that you will not spend all your time in meeting rooms. I encourage you to go out, explore and experience the spirit of Kashi. And I say this not only because Kashi is my constituency, I am confident that experiencing the Ganga Aarti and visiting Sarna will inspire you to achieve your desired results. I wish you all success in your deliberation to promote Agenda 2030 and fulfill the aspirations of the Global South. Thank you.